Hey guys, Stay Patient here with finally the most recent platinum that I've earned. Um, we've caught up. Uh, this one is my 219th, I believe, and it is Coffin Dodgers, which is another game that I've spoken about before in my top 10 easiest and fastest PS4 platinums. Um, that video is talking about games that you know you may not have heard of, so it's not not sort of covering things like The Order 1886 or Ratchet and Clank. Everyone knows they're easy. Um, and you know games like the Telltale games and whatnot but I'm gonna do a part two and part three to that series because it's helped bring some of the lesser known easy platinums to the attention of you guys at home uh, you know you trophy hunters out there and this is one of those games that quite a few people have bought off the back of my top 10 list um, Coffin Dodge is basically a kart racing game you actually race sort of mobility scooters and I've only actually just got around to playing it over the last few days. It is nice and quick, it is nice and simple. It, in fact, it's very easy. It's even easier than it's made out to be because there's one trophy in it that involves uh, getting a certain number of kills, I think it's 20, with the Uzi weapon. And a lot of people are having a lot of trouble with it for some reason, but it locks on to enemies. Maybe that's something they've added with a patch or, or whatever, I don't know. But um, it locks on. You do need to be quite close to the enemies to be able to get this, you know, to be able to get a kill on them. But you, but you get a nice lot of ammo for it. And I found that I earned the trophy naturally throughout, you know, my natural play of the game. You have to go through the story mode twice, but there's only, I think, 13 races. And so, you know, that was the only trophy I was slightly concerned about. But it ended up being just as easy as the rest. And it's a super straightforward platinum. The actual racing, at first it feels, it doesn't feel great. I was kind of looking forward to playing this game because kart races can be a lot of fun. Um, obviously it was never going to be Mario Kart or Crash Team Racing or whatever. But uh, it's, you know, it looked kind of cool. And the fact that they charge more for it than a lot of the other indie games with easy platinums, you know, that higher price point kind of made me think that it was going to be a bigger budget game. And it does look like a bigger budget game, but... When I first started playing it, I, I was kind of disappointed because the handling on it wasn't great. But as you upgrade your cart, it gets easier. You know, the handling gets more responsive, but it kind of gets too easy to the point where all you need to do is hold down the accelerator and steer around the track. There's no real braking, there's no power sliding, nothing like that. There are weapons you pick up, like we mentioned the Uzi before. Um, and you need to use, you know, for most of the trophies, you need to use those weapons a certain number of times successfully against enemies or whatever the case may be. And really, it's one of those that takes up to about five hours. I'd say pretty much everyone could get it done in less than five hours. It's possible in closer to about three hours, but uh, it's, it's really super easy, super straightforward and uh, not as quick as um, Rockets, Rockets, Rockets or Orc Slayer necessarily, but... It's, it's kind of fun to play. It's not horrible. It's one of those games that, you know, if someone says, did you enjoy it? You kind of want to say no, but that kind of implies that it's a horrible, awful game. And it's not. It's not like Orc Slayer. It's not something that's painful to play that you have to force yourself to push through. It's one of those games that's just kind of middle ground, mundane. You sort of, um, you don't hate it, but you don't come out the end thinking, oh, that was fun. You're kind of like, well, that's over. You know, I've done that. I'm glad that's finished. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's, um, it's okay. It's an okay game, but if you're looking for an easy, quick platinum, I think they were anticipating more interest in the game than they got because the price point is too high for what you get. Really. Uh, they, they've probably put a little bit more work into it than some developers do, you know, some of the same, some of the developers on the same tier, on the same playing field, if that makes sense. Um, people like the Orc Slayer devs and stuff like that, they just put no work into their game whatsoever. They just throw it together and it's a way for them to sell you an easy platinum. But I do feel like they put a bit more work into Coffin Dodgers, but whether it paid off, I don't really know. It's okay. I wouldn't buy it for fun. I, you know, it's not a game that I would pick up to play for fun, but when you take into account the fact that it's not painful to play, it's kind of, you know, relatively fun. It's got a quick, easy platinum, bring those two things together and it's worth picking up, but maybe not for the price it's currently sat at. So I think it's 
over ten pounds and ten dollars I can't remember exactly it might be 15 or 12 or something like that and I would say wait for a reduction um, a lot of people have bought it you know because of my top 10 video and none of them have said oh my goodness it's terrible um, because it's not uh, so you know out of all the easy platinums um, especially all the ones on the list that I put up on you know on my YouTube channel um, it's up there amongst the ones that's probably slightly more enjoyable to play. Uh, there are a few on there that are quite fun. There are a few that are just awful. Um, Albedo's awful, Orc Slayer's awful. But Rockets, 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 which we spoke about earlier on today, and uh, that's actually quite fun. And uh, Coffin Dodgers is okay. It's a bit of a laugh. Um, so yeah, that's that's my review of Coffin Dodgers, guys. There's not really much more to say. It's like just one of those middle-of-the-road, mundane, kind of okay, not great, but not bad games that um, is worth picking up if you've got the money for it and if you're looking for an easy platinum. But there are easier platinums. If you're just looking to buy a game just for the trophies and you haven't bought all the other games in the list that I put up there, uh, that I, you know, put on YouTube and, you know, when I do part two and part three of that video, if you haven't played those games either, there are lots of trophy sets that are quicker than Coffin Dodges by a couple of hours or so. So if you haven't played the other ones and you're just doing it for the trophies, there are games that suit that kind of uh, hardcore trophy hunting just for the trophies mentality. There are games that are better suited to that. Um, but if you've done all the other ones and Coffin Dodges is the only one left, go out and pick it up if you've got the money. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, there you have it, guys. Um, uh, we're going to be moving on to some Bioshock content by the end of the week when the collection finally is released. Um, I actually thought it was out today, as I mentioned in one of the other videos. It's a bit annoying. I went up to... Um, I, I had it pre-ordered online, but I went up to two of the shops locally because I, I thought I pre-ordered it earlier, a few days ago, and I realised that I hadn't finalised the order. So I quickly went on and pre-ordered it again, but I was a bit late, so I wasn't going to get it on release day, if today was release day. Um, so I went to a couple of the shops nearby, and neither of them had it. And eventually one of them said, oh, it looks like it's out on the 16th, which is Friday. So I came home, and I checked the release date over and over again. Um, but it must have been the American one I was looking at. I don't know what went wrong there, but uh, it's not out till Friday. So at least... Hopefully I'll get it on day one from the pre-order, maybe the day before, who knows if they get their stock in early. Some of the uh, websites I use are pretty good at getting games to you early. So keep your eye on my channel for some trophy and achievement guides for Bioshock Infinite, most of all, but then hopefully the other two Bioshock games as well. And it really depends on if I have time because the release schedule is going to become so, so busy over the next few weeks. But uh, that's great for us gamers, it's expensive for us. But uh, there's a lot of fun to be had this year. <laughs> so there you have it, guys. Look forward to uh, bringing you some more Platinum reviews, hopefully earning lots of lovely trophies over the next few months from all these great games that are lined up to come out. And so I'll see you in one of them or in whatever video you happen to stumble across next. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you very soon.